welcome back to Hatley Church Kids Everywhere. My name is Mary. My name is Sam. And last week you remember that Joseph was tempted by Potiphar's wife and he was punished for something that he didn't even do. This week we're going to pick up the story where Joseph is thrown into prison. And you'd think that that would be the end of the road for him. But God was with him in that space and working behind the scenes, doing the impossible. So we're going to hear more about what happens in that story a little bit later on. But for now, we're going to sing about the God of the impossible and we're going to worship together. So get on your dancing shoes, grab everyone that's in your house and get ready to dance. Joseph was in prison and the Lord was with him. God showed him kindness and favour in the eyes of the prison warden. Eventually, the warden put Joseph in charge of the entire prison and all those in it. And the Lord made Joseph successful in all that he did. Now Pharaoh was very angry with his cupbearer and his baker. So he threw them into the same prison as Joseph. One night, the cupbearer and baker both had a dream, each one with a meaning of its own. And when Joseph returned the next morning, he noticed that they were downcast as no one could interpret their dreams. He said, don't interpretations belong to God? Go ahead and tell me your dreams. The cupbearer went first and told Joseph about his dream. He spoke about a grapevine that produced lots of fruit and he squeezed them into Pharaoh's cup. Joseph interpreted the dream telling him that he would be restored to his position in Pharaoh's house. The baker then told Joseph the dream that he'd had. He spoke about how he'd seen three baskets of bread on his head, all for Pharaoh, but the birds were eating out of them. Joseph interpreted his dream, saying that Pharaoh would eventually have him killed. A few days later, both of the dreams came true, with the cupbearer being restored to his position and the baker being killed by Pharaoh. Hey guys, it's memory verse time. Are you ready for our memory verse, Sam? Yeah, I'm ready for our memory verse, but where's the hippo? The hippo? Oh, you weren't here last week. The hippo, Horatio. Who's Horatio? Great to meet you, Horatio. And congratulations to little Andrew who won our competition last week with the name Horatio. But what's our memory verse for this week, Mary? So this week, our memory verse is, while Joseph was in prison, God was with him. Can we say that all together? While, while Joseph, Joseph was, was in, in prison, prison God, God was, was with, with him. him. Now let's shout it out loud at the top of our lungs. While, while Joseph, Joseph was, was in, in prison, prison, God was with him. him. Finally, to remember it, let's all whisper together. While Joseph was in prison, God was with him. Oh, such a good verse. Thanks, guys.
So it's time for our silent seats. So do you want to join me sitting down on a chair or on the floor or on the stairs, wherever it may be, and we're going to learn some more about how Joseph is similar to Jesus and there are parallels in their stories. So lots of people came to Jesus with their questions about life and about God and Jesus gave them answers. And similarly, people came to Joseph with their dreams and Joseph interpreted their dreams for them. Another similarity is that God had a plan for Jesus. And when it looked like the worst of the worst had happened, we know that God had a plan and he was working. In the same way, Joseph was thrown in prison and all these bad things had happened to him, but God still had a plan. If you look at this piece of paper, it looks impossible that we could have folded it this way. But with just one simple movement, you've got a full piece of paper again. Just like situations in our lives and in Joseph's life that look impossible, like no good could come of it, God can work in the impossible and he can do the impossible and he still makes it work out for our good. Right guys, it's time for our craft. This week we're going to be making these little bookmark monsters which look really cute, so stick around to find out how. All you're gonna need this week is a nice piece of colored paper. I want a red monster, so I've gone for red, and some scissors, and then maybe some decorations later. So the first thing you're gonna do is fold your piece of paper in half. Then take the two corners and fold them in again. Then you're going to take your scissors and cut along the line of your triangles to get rid of the excess. Then you're going to cut a line down the middle of your triangles to make them two separate squares. So this is our first square. So then you're going to take your open square, fold it in half so you get a long rectangle. Then you're going to fold it in half again to make a smaller square. Then you're going to unfold it back out so that you've got four squares visible. You're going to take your scissors and cut out one of the squares, like so. It's a little bit more complicated, but you're going to take your two flats and fold them over each other so that the lines in the middle match up and then you're going to tuck in your point to the centre so that it's all folded up like so. Great, so I've just added some googly eyes and a little bit more paper to decorate it and make it look like a scary monster. You can decorate yours however you like. And now you can use it in your everyday life to put inside your Bible and keep your place for you. So for our game this week, we're going to do something called Never in the Olympics. And all you have to do is get from one side of the room to the other without lifting your bum off the floor. You can't use your hands, okay? So me and Mary are going to try it out and see who's the winner. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, three, two, one, go. It's like rowing. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Mary's the winner. You try it at home and see how you can get on. This has been so much fun. Just remember this week that God is a God of the impossible and he can do amazing things in us and through us. Can we pray for us to close that? Yeah, let's pray. Lord, thank you that you can do amazing things and you are the God of the impossible. And we pray we would see you at work this week in our lives. In Jesus' name, Amen. See you guys next week. Bye.